What's up, guys? Lotion. Just kidding. But today's video, I know I'm a little late. I had to finish all the customs. So I finished the, the Jungle Dragon, the Jungle Chopper Bike, the Catamaran Sea Battle, and the Keeper's Village. And uh, these are not, like, I don't think these are all at the right scale, except maybe the Keeper's Village. Because the Keeper's Village is the biggest set, but, like, actually the Catamaran Sea Battle is the biggest set. Like, in the real sets, but, you know. So I'm going to go in order... Uh, like smallest and how much like the original one cost and all and all that stuff so the first one we have of course is lloyd's jungle chopper bike and i did see all these like images of course and yeah we have a uh, custom uh, island lloyd and island nia actually island nia is actually an exclusive to the real set and it goes for around 20 dollars and uh, i just have a bunch of random figures as like the other like guys, except for the Chief Mamatis. As you saw, I made a custom video on him. But yeah, you, you're, you've you seen all these guys. I'll leave uh, links to their videos in the description. These are like the Ninja. And Chief Mamatis is like custom. Because these don't matter to me. So yeah, it's just like a normal bike. You know, it rolls, two wheels. I don't really have that much to say about this because... And also, this was the first custom I made. As you can see, it has a lot of parts from the, um, what's his face? The Green Ninja Mech Dragon. As you can see, it has, like, the scales and the symbol of L. With these controls and the control little panel from the Mech Dragon. With the little catamaran up here. I know it's like, it looks like crap. But, you know, here's the thing. It's a custom, and I don't care. And it does literally, like, come off, like, not just because, it literally comes off. But, you know, it's okay. And I also put on these little torches with green flames. Don't ship it whatsoever. <clears throat> not that it matters. But, yeah. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, I just like to, like, flip up these blades to, like, be, like, front blades. I'm not doing, like, that thing, like... The four corners where it like goes up and down. Because first off, I have no idea how to do that. So I feel like it's just better to have it be more simple. And then when you want it to, just flip it back up. So yeah, that was, that's it for the custom Lloyd's Jungle Chopper bike. Now on to the Jungle Dragon. And real quick, before I show this guy, i like to know... Uh, I like to note, I know, he's teal, and this is literally, like, okay, like, this is literally the green from the Green Ninja Mech Dragon, and it's not my best dragon, so, yeah, he looks like crap, so, here's what I have for the, uh, Jungle Dragon, clearly, like I said, it's teal, like, I know he's teal, but this is what I did for with the pieces that I have. I kind of, like, took the design of, like, the Emperor Dragon from Pine or Unagami's Dragon with these blades coming out of the legs. But I have the chains on its, like, ankles. And I think it looks alright. Like, the glowing eyes. The tongue sticking out. And a movable frick. This is, like, the seat, but it doesn't matter. And the little movable tail. But of course, it's, like, in sand green, but the real thing is, like, like a teal. <clears throat> but the head moves down, which is very good. I literally, like, just got done finishing this set. Which is why it looks so, like, weird. And also, it's, like, a little muzzle can, like, move. And for the figures that come in this set, of course, we have Lloyd with a bone. And it also comes with Zane. And Polrick, I think his name is. Or if I see, if, I know his name starts with a P and ends with a K, but I don't really know. No one really knows how to say his name, like the two-headed one. And the other thing, I don't have like I'm pretty sure the Rumble Keeper is the one with the hat. Yeah, and then yeah, and then the Thunder Keeper is the one with the mask. But yeah, I have those guys here, and I do actually have a custom amulet, but I only have one. And actually, the amulet comes in all the sets, and it's confirmed to be an amulet. Not just on, like, a website, but actually on the trailer. Like, 
Chief Mamata says, we are the protectors of the amulet. So, yeah, this is the jungle dragon. Oh, yeah, and I have Zane's mini catamaran to go with this little thing. Of course, it's not the best, but of course, it looks better than, than Lloyd's. I have a lot more white pieces than green. Sorry. Or I don't have, like, green pieces to, like, make, like, the, the main, like, catamaran of, like, a build. So, yeah. That's the jungle dragon. On to the keeper's village, which is definitely my favorite of this. But I feel like all these, like, kind of, like, stick together. So, for this one, like I said, I hope you guys also like this one. Because, honestly, it's the biggest one. Here we have the frick. <laughs> the tree fell off. I have just a little random, like, little details. But yeah, here's the keeper's village. The, the totem is so big, it keeps going up. And here's, like, the custom amulet, where it has, like, a holding point. And I, I know the purples, is, like, the edges are purple, but, you know, so what? You know, they can frick. You can just grab it from the bottom. And it goes at the top of the totem. Right here. And I actually do have, like, an interior in there. This thing took about, like, two hours to, like, just put random bricks together to build. And we have, like, the three totem heads. There's this one with these blades. This one with these blades. And if, I know these are in white. The real thing. And also, there's, like, a little green blade. And the final one's up here with little digi knives. Yeah, with the amulet at the top. And now it can actually, like, frick. Hold on. Let me see if it'll do it without breaking. Like it's supposed to. Here it is. And I can actually separate this. Uh, let me do that. So here we have the three pieces separated. And the actual thing is supposed to separate. So yeah, oh, also we have Chief Mamatis. He's going to chill up here. So basically, and also this is my favorite set. And probably the first set I'm going to pick up. For this series. Actually I'm probably going to get all of them at once. Except for maybe the Chiromancy battle. I will still get it eventually. But probably not with the rest of them. Because honestly. I'm saving up all my money just to get all of these. So I'm probably going to be out of money. By the time of March 1st. <laughs> so yeah here it is. These are like little teeth. I didn't feel like drawing on these Legos. Because I feel like I'll probably use them as like Earth. In like my stop motion series. And yeah, he's holding yeah the green blade. This is the second part, which I like to lift out these, and it's like a like a like a piranha or not a piranha, like a scorpion, like this. And it has like little spikes. And this is like the middle section. And then this is the final section, of course, like the weakest one, of the others, or right, the as of the totem, because you know it's the smallest part, but it's probably the most important. It keeps the amulet. And you can just stack them all up. There. And there. And put it back. But to show this, I will just avoid the totem. And just get into it. So, oh crap. I showed a little bit of the sea battle. But here we have, uh, of course there's no water puddle or anything. This is of course not the best. But you know, I try. With the pieces I have. So you just have like this little island section. Hold on, I'll be right. Okay, so now we have, like, this little, like, dead tree, even though all of it is a little green. We have these little vines, and, yeah, a little bone, the little trap for Jay. I think he's, like, a target, like I say in literally all my Season 14 videos. I'll make a playlist, and, yeah, have Season 14, like, custom stuff. And, yes, custom. Don't come and eat my butts. No, I'm just kidding. I might have just screwed myself over saying that, but you know, who cares? There's another vine here, and I use the arrow blade, or the yin blade piece. I'm going to get my season 14 custom J. And yeah, how this would work is, of course, this is like too close to the floor. So I just have it aiming up here, and just like leaning outwards. I'll be right back. Sorry, I went to go eat. But yeah, there's just like this little, you know... Little pile of vines and stuff with this little trap. Sorry, I literally just like stopped at the most random time. I'm pretty sure I was like on the trap. But yeah, the tree also moves. So do the leaves. Clearly, it's not stuck together. But yeah, we just have the staircase, which is not nowhere near normal because 
this part, like this section is supposed to be like over here and the stairs are supposed to lead like this way. Not like down this way. But also on this side, we, of course we couldn't like put like a face, but I still have like, like the escaping jail feature. And also have this lava flow. I know it's not like all lava and the lava fountains like over here. But you know, this is a uh, custom, so, you know. On the, oh, let me stick this back in. On the side, there's another little plant. Up here we have a tree. And there's just a bunch of rocks. There's a little bucket with a jail cell right here. Um, that will open. Okay, all this stuff is falling. You can see Chief Mattis fell down, but so did this little tree. But yeah, you can probably put like Jay or someone in there. Let me take him off. Take care of his weapon. Hold on. There you go. He has no weapon now. Okay, literally. There. He's in there. Now let's close that up. And then on this side. There's this little flap that with some little skills can get Jay out without having, yeah, it's a bit of a hassle, but you know, it works. <laughs> let me fix this. But also this is how like it works. It's like a trap door with like the lava flowing down, but like, yeah. You see it just like, just pieces on. And then, yeah. And now Jay's out. On to like the little top floor. There's just a little throne. And there's just like this like pile of rocks. Where of course the totem goes. And this is where Chief Mammatus will just be vibing. Ha 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 ha. But yeah. This is the Keeper's Village custom. Now to what is the biggest set. Like this is the biggest set for the customs, but the real biggest set is the, uh, what's his face? Uh, Car Catamaran Sea Battle. Let's get into it. Okay, now we have the, the two catamarans. We have, of course, have the Keeper's Catamaran. And Kai's catamaran. As you can tell, this is from the land bounty. Took it off. Just, just you know, for a little bit. Until March. <laughs> yeah, when I see, like, a new wave of Ninjago sets, I always make a custom on them. But, you know. And I actually keep the, those sets like this. Until I actually get the sets, and then I take it apart. <laughs> And do the same for, like, Custom Ninja. So I just keep these customs for... Oh, yeah, and I replaced Cole's mask, and I found a black one, so, yeah. Excuse me. I keep them like this until I get the real one, and then put all these pe all these pieces back. But, yeah, first we have the, the Keeper's Catamaran. Of course, it has no sail, but it has, like, these little posts. Right here and it just broke off. But the pole and this has like a little like protection force field or something. For some reason. A little like seat for Chief Mamatis. I don't know if he can fit with his staff. So he can just chill right there with these orange swords. With these little bones, I believe those are supposed to be. With this random little back. I don't know. We have a little set, little jail cell. And once again, where is he? We got Jay. You just... This is a little hard to do with one hand, but... You just stick him in. You just close it there. And this little clip is... Uh, where's his... thingy mabob You put his weapon there. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Close it there. And we have a little railing where we can put a bad guy. And yeah, 
And you just have him, you know, taking J for whatever reason. But now we have Kai's catamaran and this little pole just broke off. I'm going to put that back. Okay. Okay, screw these. They're going with the with these. All right, so now we have just his catamaran like this. Of course, with the sail. A little easy to move, which is not a bad thing, but, you know, not the best thing. Of course, I put in my I put my own little things. It has a little railing at the back. It has this little, like, kind of like um, the build for an arcade cabinet. But it has, like, the, a handle type move forward and this. I don't have his spring-loaded shooters on it yet, and if you're wondering what this blue thing is, oh my god, this thing is like a, a giant mess. This little blue thing is holding most of it together, so it doesn't all just collapse and die. Just like my hopes and dreams. <laughs> Put this on. There. We have a holder for Kai's swords, and if you haven't seen Kai yet, he's right here. You can just have him just chilling, you know, and his catamaran look alike. And yeah, it has some accents of gold, and by some I mean just two, and then one gold little shard. So with that, we have all of them. We have, we have the catamaran sea battle. We have the keeper's veil edge. We're gonna put all of them just chilling. We have over here we have the jungle dragon with the rumble keeper or whatever this one is supposed to be. We you got yourself your Lloyd. He's gonna be on top of the dragon. Just chilling. And we also have his jungle chopper bike, which can be just chilling over here with its blades out, ready to slice up some purple mans. And, you know, this thing over with the other ones. And where is she? She's over here. I'll put her with the others. So, yeah, that's the all the custom Lego Ninjago Season 14 sets. Once again, Boys, er, the Jungle Dragon, Keeper's Village, Catamaran Sea Battle. This goes with this. And Lloyd's Jungle Chopper Bike. So yes, goodbye.